So we want to show that if a and b are rational numbers, then their product and their sum are rational numbers as well. So let's go ahead and start the proof. We're going to assume that a and b are rational numbers, okay? So this implies that a is equal to p over q and b is equal to um, r over s, where p, q, r, s are all integers, right? All these are integers and q is not equal to zero and s is not equal to zero, right? This is the definition of a rational number, right? Since we know a and b are rational numbers, we know it's an integer over an integer, right? Where the integer in the denominator is not zero. So we're gonna to try to get this form for a times b and a plus b. So let's go ahead and consider um, a times b, which would be p over q times r over s, right? When we have two fractions, we multiply straight across. So that's going to be PR over QS. Now look what we have. We have that um, AB is equal to an integer times an integer, which is an integer, over an integer times an integer, which is an integer. And since Q is not equal to zero and S is not equal to zero, we know that QS won't be zero. So where PR and qs are integers, right? And qs is not equal to zero. And this is the definition of a rational number. This implies that a times b is an element of the rational numbers, right? So now we're gonna do a similar argument for a plus b. So let's consider a plus b, right? So this is gonna be, so a was p over q, so p over q plus um, r over s. So with these, we have to find a common denominator. So this will be p over q times s over s plus um, r over s times q over q. And this will be p s um, over q s, right? Plus r q over qs and since we have a common denominator we can um, combine the numerator so this will be ps plus rq all over uh, qs now look at this we have an integer times an integer plus an integer times an integer we know that whole top would be an integer and we know that bottom would be an integer where uh, we know since q remember Q is not equal to zero and S is not equal to zero. So that means QS is not equal to zero. So we have, right? Um, so let's go ahead and rewrite this. So we have that A plus B is equal to PS plus RQ over QS, where, right? Where PS plus RQ, right? And QS, are integers, right? And QS is not equal to zero. So this implies that A plus B is an integer, I mean, is a rational number as well. And that's our proof.